There are small business development centers, and they educate entrepreneurs and small business owners. You have the SCORE Council, and these are experienced professionals who have been in business, they're now retired, and what they do is counsel entrepreneurs and small business owners as a form of community service. They do it for free. You also have women's business centers, and these are located all across the country. And this particular entity focuses on helping women start and grow businesses because they believe that women are naturally challenged already in the world of business and in, a, in what some still perceive to be a male-dominated marketplace. So their main focus is on women. And then you have the small business associations, which also provide a lot of counseling and training and mentoring. And incidentally, when I first moved to Colombia and was thinking about launching the business, my online business, I actually sought counseling from the SCORE chapter in Colombia. I went down to the Chamber of Commerce with my husband and I, and I met with a mentor. I showed him my draft business plan. He went through, he tweaked it. He gave me some suggestions, I took them. And um, so I think it is very instrumental to take advantage of as much of this counseling as you possibly can. And you really do not have to wait until you launch your own business. If it's something you are seriously considering, go ahead and start getting the mentoring and the counseling from now. And um, I don't want you to necessarily think I'm trying to say you're all gonna leave college and go open your own businesses. That's not the only determinant of being entrepreneurial. But you can still be entrepreneurial in the way you approach your own career path and in the way that you approach your own professional development. So even if you are thinking of going out and seeking full-time employment with a company, I still think these are very good lessons for you to learn in terms of how to approach your own development you know, as future business people.